You check into your hotel room, close the door, and lock it, even double lock it. But the threat isn't from someone prowling the halls of the hotel. It could be the guy staying in the next room. That's the fake hotspot that we just created. So it's actually broadcasting the hotspot and actually also capturing all of the information off of, off of the victim's computers. This man is creating his own wireless internet access point labeled hotel Wi-Fi. So if you're in an airport, you can make it an airport hotspot. If you're in a coffee shop, you can make it the name of the coffee shop. And in this case, we're in a hotel, so we made it hotel Wi-Fi. As soon as someone accesses that and starts using the internet, we're able to see and capture everything they're doing. Guests are connected to the internet, but through his laptop. The piece of software that's running on it that's looking for username and password, looking for logins, and when it sees it, it actually logs it for us to, to use later. His name is Apollonio Garcia. He's not a hacker, but a security expert from HealthGuard who agreed to show us how thieves can pull your secret information out of thin air. So you can easily create a, a fake page, have them enter their credentials, and pass the user on to the legitimate website. So the user doesn't know that they just gave you uh, the bad guy. Uh, the credit card information. The thief basically creates a mirror image of the hotel's own website. They look exactly the same. But there's a critical difference. You bet there is. I'm real. He's here to steal your credit card. The thief can be anywhere in or near the hotel. It's all about bars. The hotel bar is where Garcia sets up, so nearby guests get the most bars on their device. With his high-gain USB antenna, his is the strongest Wi-Fi signal in the lobby and many surrounding rooms. You can see here that that username and password shows up in clear text. So once you have the username and password, you, you, know, you really do have that user's access to pretty much anything. It's the front desk calling. They need your credit card number again. Or is it? Some thieves are bypassing the computer and going with a low-tech method that has a real ring to it. They're calling up and asking for room numbers. Steve Carlson is the manager of a hotel in Florence that has received several late-night phone calls from scammers who are hitting inns across the nation. They ask for, say, room 515, hoping the night manager will patch them through. The thief then adopts a helpful tone with the tired guest. Our computers are down, and we need your credit card information again. They try to make it a convenience for the guest, you know, telling, telling the person that they're trying to take the information from, it's like, oh yeah, don't worry about getting out of bed, we'll go ahead and take care of it over the phone. Hang up and dial zero. No matter the time of day or night, if someone calls you saying that they are from the front desk and want your information, say, okay, just a minute and hang up and either call the front desk or walk up to the front desk. Most hotels have a policy Hello, front desk. of asking for the guest's name. But a scammer who rents a room can bypass the front desk and dial directly. That's why some hotels like the Marriott River Center in Covington no longer allow guests to call room to room. These scams have given some hotels a real hang up.